I've added a hint feature to my Wordle clone. We know the word's fault because I'm cheating. So let's say farms. We know we have an F and an A, and then we don't have an M, R, and S. So if we ask for a hint, we should get a word that definitely has not any of those red letters and has all the green letters. So there's the F and the A, and there's no M, R, or S. So it suggests final. Let's try that. Final. Okay. And what did we learn from that? We added an L and we subtracted an I. So that should improve the hint. Now the hint is awful. Let's try that. And we added a U and we subtracted a W. So the hint should have more information to go on and should be better. And now the hint offers the answer. Let's see how the code works. Uh, the new code is shown with this mark in the gutter here. Um, you see, I created a new function, find hint. So all this is unchanged. And I added a tuple of the hint command, so you can type hint or h. And I had to modify get valid answer so that if you type one of the hint commands, it doesn't enforce the word length or the rest. Down here, once we get a valid answer, we see if it's a hint command. And if it is, we call find hint and show that hint. Otherwise, we proceed as before. Let's look at find hint. Here it is. It doesn't really cheat in the sense that it would take advantage of all the information. It doesn't consider the actual word that you're trying to guess at all when it produces the hint. It just looks at the hits and the misses. So we've got these data structures. Let's see if we can, if we can find them. Here's hits and misses. Those are the two sets that keep track of letters we know are in the word, and letters we know are not in the word. So, what do we do? We call words with hits, put that in a list. So let's look at that. For every word with at least one hit and no mismatches, return the number of hits and the word. So we go through all the common words, we make a set of the letters, and then do a set intersection between the letters and hits, and then pass that to len, and now we have the number of matches for this word. And the, num and the mismatches comes from the intersection of letters and misses. Then we could say if num matches, which means not zero, and not mismatches, which means that's an empty set, then we yield a tuple, num matches, and word. So let's just see what this looks like when we run under the debugger. Um, human, humus, and then a hint. Okay, so looking at all the words with hits, we see that what we have for each word that has at least one hit we have the number of hits and then the word. And they're not sorted yet, but they will be in a moment. Now they are. So you see that there are one, two, three words that have three matching letters. And they appear first because of the sort. And now we extract the best words. See if you can figure out what this does. Best words is just those three words with the three hits. So we just keep, we keep the tuples where the first value matches the first value in the best, the best word after the sorting. And then we just randomly choose one from there and then return the word itself and not the, the count. Okay, does that cover everything? Yep, I think so. 
See you next time.